This is Promote. Today we are going to see how you can enable restriction on Domino internal SMTP server. For this, we require a Domino SMTP server with dedicated server configuration document. In this one, we can see how we will restrict mesh marked to external domain, how we can allow or deny specific IP addresses for sending mail to your Domino SMTP server, and allowing specific sender domains for sending the mail. So moving ahead with the SMTP server, test SMTP server. In this one, we have SMTP task is already loaded. Go to the address book, go to the configuration, just check whether there is a configuration document for this server is available or not. If not, please create it. Once created, go to the router SMTP, inside that restriction and controls, SMTP inbound control, in inbound relay control, there is an entry deny messages to be sent to the following external internal domains star. This entry should be there to ensure there is no mail will be sent to outside the local domain. Then, how we can put a specific IP address? So, go down in inbound connection controls. There is a field allow connections only from the following SMTP hostname or IP addresses. In this one, you can put the IP address in square bracket entry if you add if you want to add multiple ip address just press enter and again provide a new address inside a square bracket so in this way you can add multiple ip address that needs to be allowed if you want to deny any specific ip address then you can add that one below section that is deny connection from the following SMT. So for example ensure that it is again included inside square bracket only so this is where you can allow this is where you can deny now for specific domains my domain is mytest.com so i am adding it if i want to add any other domain i am adding it over here by just putting a enter so this is where you can allow specific sender domains from which you can allow mails for sending mail to your smtp server save this configuration document replicate your address book to your domino smtp server and then Either you restart your Domino server or you can issue tail router update config and tail SMTP update config command just to update the configuration details for your server. Once this is in place, you can then check by issuing a manual telnet command whether it is working as per the requirement or not. So this is my same Domino server which is sending mail to cell to telnet as this is allowed, it will accept the mail from this server. So just a command EHL server. Now ensure this syntax command is case sensitive and there is no typo error, else you need to provide it again. Say for example, mail from support.admin at the rate mytest.com. So this sender is allowed as we are allowed mytest.com domain. We'll try with one more domain, mail from support.admin at the rate abc.com. This is also allowed domain and hence it will be also allowed for sending the mail. So we'll try one more domain, which is not listed in our configuration. So support.admin at direct gmail.com. So this has not been added. So it has straightway rejected the mail for policy reasons. Now mail from support.admin at direct mytest.com and RCP to two support.admin at direct mytest.com. So it has accepted. So within the same internal domain, it is working fine. Now if I try for any external domain, let's see what happens. Say for example, abc at the rate gmail.com. It has straightway rejected. So my Domino SMTP server is accepting the connection from the same IP. And also it is allowing a different sender domains which I have given and it is blocking for the external domain. Now let's try for sending mail from another server which has not been added. Say for example, 197.134, we have not added into our configuration document. So in this one, we'll again try to tell net command EHLO server and then main form support.admin at the rate my test. So this has rejected because this IP address has not been allowed onto our SMTP server configuration document. So 
to restrict the server, we have to just ensure that in the configuration document, the required fields are updated for allow, for deny, and specific center tokens. That's it for today. Thank you.